Next up is the SATCOM antenna. The first thing to do is to set up the tripod. There are three antennas that receive the same tripod base. Of course, there's the SATCOM, the TV antenna, and the AM-FM antenna. We'll show you those in just a moment, but the antenna tripod setup is exactly the same for all three. A word of warning from seasoned TGS operators, be careful handling the center pole with your bare hands. It's made of fiberglass, from which fibers may work themselves into your skin. So it's recommended that you either use gloves or avoid touching it entirely. Take your time in setting up this tripod. It's very, very complicated. Not really. Make sure that the knobs on the legs are tightened and that the tripod is level. That piece of fabric hanging down in the middle is for weighing it down with sandbags or rocks to keep it from falling over. The SATCOM antenna ships in a different looking type of transit case and there aren't any pressure relief valves, so just undo the clips and open it up. Remove the main section of the SATCOM antenna and start extending the signal receiver poles from the center of the unit. They will lock into position. Make sure you extend every single one. I've never counted them, but there's quite a few. Slide each cable harness up to the end of the poles on the bottom of the SATCOM antenna. Once that's complete, carry it over to the antenna tripod. Slide it over the top of the antenna base and lock it into position by tightening the knobs. Return to the SATCOM transit case and start undoing the clips on the inside of the lid. There are two more SATCOM extensions and two cables stored here. Again, extend all poles from the center of the SATCOM extension, locking them into position. Once this extension is done, position it on top of the first. There's a small notch which will guide it into place. There's only one more extension to go. Remove it from the case and extend it out the same way that you did the second one. Once again, look for the notch to align it into position. Inside the lid of the transit case are the two SATCOM antenna cables. Depending on the distance of the SATCOM antenna from the TGS, you'll use either the short one or the long one. Here's a close-up of one end of the antenna cable. The antenna connector is located on the base of the SATCOM antenna. Attach it to the SATCOM antenna by screwing it into place. Hand tighten only. Once that's done, pick up the other end of the cable and walk it towards the TGS. This cable plugs into the front roadside SEP in either the remote 1, 2, 3, or 4 ports, depending on your operation. Let's plug it into remote 2 for now to prepare it for the SIGINT section of this CBT.